It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Mehran Kamrava, Professor and Director for the Center for International and Regional Studies at Georgetown University in Qatar. He is the author of a number of journal articles and books, including The Modern Middle East, A Political History Since the First World War, and Iran's Intellectual Revolution. Dr. Kamrava, thank you for joining us. Could you please explain to us how the Iranian government works? What power does the parliament have, and what is the Assembly of Experts all about? The Iranian political system has evolved over years uh, to be uh, somewhat complicated. It has a dual executive, whereby executive power is divided between the president and the office of the supreme leader. It also has multiple legislatures, and uh, it has a parliament called the Majlis, which is extremely active, proactive in offering legislation and in scrutinizing the um, office of the presidency, the executive. But it also has an assembly of experts which oversees and elects uh, the supreme leader. So the current election, the latest election, uh, was extremely important in the relationship within the political system between the parliament uh, and uh, the executive and also in the selection of the next supreme leader. What has happened in the last few days and what does this mean for Iran as a nation and the people of Iran? This is extremely important because on the one hand we've seen um, a, a landslide victory for the so-called reformists. And these are moderate politicians uh, who overwhelmingly support President Rouhani. So one of the important things that has happened is that the president's mandate has been significantly strengthened because of the elections. We also see, quite importantly, interest and input in the election uh, for the assembly of experts. And this is the first time where we see multiple different factions and different parties uh, being elected into the assembly of experts. And that uh, is important for the selection of the next leader. Uh, the current supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, is 76 years old. Uh, the uh, term of the assembly of experts is for eight years. This uh, incoming assembly is likely to pick the next supreme leader. And that's tremendously important, not just for the political system, but for the larger direction and evolution of Iran's post-revolutionary state uh, in the coming years and in the coming decade. We learned that the elections had about 60% turnout. What does that mean? For the broader Iranian political system, these elections signify two important things. First and foremost, the Islamic Republic has tremendous popular legitimacy particularly in the urban centers. 60% voter turnout for midterm elections is an extremely significant and high number of voters, particularly given the checkered history of elections in 2009 and the fact that many people were turned off by that election. Second thing that it implies is that the system is democratizing from within. This Iran is democratizing despite the political systems impulse to prevent democratization. And so what we see is that a rules of the game are emerging. A set of rules of the game are emerging in the Iranian political system whereby democratic rules are being agreed upon by different actors in the system. And that's quite important. And finally, please explain to us what the world community should expect from the new leadership in Iran. One of the uh, important initiatives of the president has been to open up Iran and to bring Iran out of its isolation. And now with his mandate having been significantly strengthened as a result of these elections, what we see is that this trend is likely to continue in the foreseeable future. If uh, Rouhani, the president, incidentally, was elected also to the Assembly of Experts and he got the third highest number of votes, uh, recorded in Tehran. This is quite significant uh, in strengthening his mandate. Uh, the top and the second uh, highest vote getters were also uh, strong supporters of, of the president. So what this is likely to tell us is that 
the president will most likely be re-elected in two years because he's got tremendous popularity because of the nuclear deal. And the trend of opening up Iran to the outside world, making sure that Iran comes out of its isolation, and encouraging foreign investments to flow into the country are likely to continue at least for the next six years under the remainder of President Rouhani's first term and most likely in his second term. Dr. Kamrava, thank you for being with us at this important time in Middle East history. This has been the Expert Voice brought to you by Georgetown University in Qatar.